grandma's favorite song. She balls so hard. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Rob Barocha. That's uh, that's my white name. That's my white name. I am uh, I'm Salvadorian Brazilian. But I look like Carson Daly ate a lot of bread. <laughs> very white. Very, very white. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, uh, I like my, uh, my my white name's Rob. My real name is Roberto. Very sexy name, I think. I don't know about you guys. My full name is Roberto Barra de Rocha. That's how you say it too. You're supposed to present it. Beautiful name. All right, but I hate, so I hate when someone like screws up my name, and that's why I go by Rob. I hate when someone says Roberto. It's not sexy. That's not exotic, right? They went around the bank and they'll be like, yeah, is there a, is there a rubber toe, Carl O, of the roaches? I don't know how to say this name, this is difficult. <laughs> All right, ladies, if you're hanging out with your friends, you're like, hey, I met this guy last night, what's his name? Roberto. And you're like, ew, what? Is he living home with his parents? Is he playing porta potties? What does he do? But, they're like, hey, I met this guy last night. What's his name? Roberto Carlo, don't you? Roberto, Dios mío, what? They don't even speak Spanish, what? What is he? Is he a matador? What is he? Is he, is he, is he, is he a conquistador? Is, is he make hot dogs wrapped in bacon at 3 o'clock in the morning? What, what does he do? What does he do? Does he eat his fruit with tahini? Does he know the song Despacito? I can't go around and introducing myself like that, too. I'll be sound like a jerk, right? Like, hey, this is David, this is Steve, and this is Roberto Carlos. You killed my father. Who took you back? Spanish was uh, my first language. It's my first language. Um, some people can tell I speak Spanish through text. It's weird, right? Because when I laugh, I put ja, 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 ja. I don't know. He's laughing in Spanish. What? I didn't know he spoke Spanish. <laughs> if you're Asian, you put rah, 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 rah. That's so Speak Spanish. I've been, I've been working on this, um, uh, this, uh, this thing right now. Uh, I'm doing uh, First Nations. This is Donald Trump. Relax. <laughs> It's Donald Trump if he spoke Spanish, right? Here we go. Ready? Yo quiero poner una grande pared. Una grande, grande pared. Más grande de China. Todas las muchachas la quiero orar por la penocha. Yeah, who does that? Alright, this is Christopher Walken. If he spoke Spanish, right? Just go walk and he spoke Spanish. Ya lo sé. Mira como Christopher caminando. Mira un reloj en el culo. No bueno. No bueno. I love this lady's laugh over here, right? Great. <laughs> Grew up with a lot of white kids. That's why I act the way I do. Okay, white power, relax. <laughs> Damn, Trump supporter. Uh, yeah. Went to Catholic school, private school. Uh, the kids I went to school with, uh, they had trust funds. Yeah, I remember going to my mom, asking her, like, hey mom, do I have a trust fund? She laughed and laughed. <laughs> Yo, me, well, trust me, you have no funds. It's all right. <laughs> Nothing. You don't save money for shit. I don't know. A lot of the kids I went to school with, too, uh, thought that Taco Bell was authentic Mexican food. How stupid are you, right? I don't remember ever going to my grandma. Hey, yeah, well, Did you make me a quesalupa? Can you make me Doritos Locos Nachos flavor? Can you do that? Can you put it in a box with a Gatorade? No, with a Mountain Dew? I don't know. Could you? Like your great grandma used to do? Remember that? No? Oh, um, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Grew up 
of, uh, a lot of my cousins, my cousins and uncles, uh, they were involved in games. So. Not bragging. <laughs> my cousin used to be like, he used to want me to join a game. Ricky, he used to want me to join a game, like me in a game, right? What am I going to be, like the financial advisor? <laughs> hey, uh, listen up, chills, listen up, gangsters, I just drew this pie chart right here. We're spending 10% of our time causing shenanigans. And 90% uh, of our time smoking weed. This is unacceptable. Listen, in the third quarter, the final gang's been killing us. We lost Swifty last week. I don't know why we call him Swifty. He was pretty slow. And guys, we're going to stop doing drive-bys because the gas prices. is expensive. No more lowriders. We're going to get a Prius. We're going green. That's not our gang color, but we're going green. <laughs> And uh, from now on, we're not going to jump people into the game. We're not going to do that anymore. It's kind of archaic. From now on, everyone's going to have to do an essay. I don't need to have sex with another man. <laughs> Some of you guys got that. <laughs> you know, fun with homonyms. I don't know. How many people here in a, in a relationship? I run out of People in a relationship? <laughs> Some better people are doing. <laughs> yeah. I always like looking around the room because some people don't know if they're in a relationship, right? They're you know, looking at people next to them. I don't know what's going on. Are we, are, are we, are we going out? What's going? On? Are we just banging? Am I paying for this? Oh, I'm paying for this. We're going out. And then there's other couples too that are looking at each other like, why aren't you clapping? What's up? <laughs> We're together. Is that what happened over here? <laughs> I was like, why aren't you clapping? She gave him an elbow, like a shot. <laughs> uh, it's tough with relationships, huh? Best part of a relationship, I think, is the beginning of a relationship. The genesis of the relationship, right? <laughs> Later on, the apocalypse happens, right? With the bind them. You share your first moments at the beginning. Every girl here loves the first kiss. You guys romanticize it on You see it in movies. Like, girls love it when a guy holds their face. And the first kiss. Oh my god, he held my face. It was, it was like the notebook. He was holding my face. It was raining outside. He was holding my The sprinkler was wrong, but he was still holding my face. You know what I found out a girl doesn't like at the beginning? When you very gently put your hand behind her head and you do this. <laughs> That's always awkward, right? It's like, oh my god, you got strong neck muscles. All right, all right, you got a strong vertebrae. You, you work out your neck a lot, huh? All right. Just thought I was going to guide you to some fun, but all right, cool. Cool. You know? All right. Cool. Sorry about that. <laughs> that would never happen to a guy. That doesn't happen to guys, right? It doesn't happen to us, right? <laughs> the, the girls never put her hand behind a guy's head and go, no! Why don't you just tap us? Let's fucking do this. All right. Let's do it. It's a race. Oh, bad uh, relationship. Uh, yeah, we used to fight a lot. Last one of our last fights that we got into was that she lost her front tooth. I didn't do it, relax. Okay. She would open up everything with her teeth. Right? Even beer bottles. She was classy like that. Can walk up to her, hey, what's up? You know, like, Thanks, fuck you. She had everything. And I kept on telling her, I'm gonna knock it off. I felt like a dad. I felt like the Nero's like, don't do it. I kept on telling her. So one day we're at a party. And she's doing it. She grabs a beer bottle. I'm like, don't do it. And she does it. Her tooth breaks. It's blood. It's gray. It looks disgusting, right? I'm looking at her and going, what did I tell you? <laughs> and this is what we got in a fight about, was that she didn't want to get it fixed right away. Right? Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> she didn't want to get it fixed right away. It was like, it was horrible, right? Like, listen. Like, I don't care how hot you are, if you're a 10 and you lose your front tooth, you become a 5, right? Like, like, it just looks like you don't care anymore, right? Like, you just gave up on life. You fix that, right? Like, listen, if you lose your front tooth, you get that shit fixed tonight, right? You, you, you get a chiclet or something, you're like, get some Dracula teeth, cover that shit up. You know how hard it is to be in a relationship with someone that you don't want to make smile? Do you understand that? 
Oh, yeah, give her flowers. Oh, look at that. It's horrible. She'd be like, let's watch a funny movie. No, let's watch a sad movie. Let's, let's watch Sinners. Let's cry. I don't want to see you smile. <laughs> I'd be making love to her. I look down, there's a jack o' lantern looking at me. It's like, ah, horrendous. Brutal. Ever hear of tattoos? Tattoos, anybody? Yeah? No? Some, some people? Okay, fine. Can't get tattoos. Tattoos are really mean. You see tattoos like that? If you get a tattoo, that's a commitment to stay in shape for the rest of your life, right? Have you seen tattoos when they, they stretch? They don't look so good anymore. Like a girl who will have like two dolphins. Wait, I don't know, it looks like two whales. <laughs> you like whales? What's up, man? <laughs> Like that barbed wire, you know, the tough guys get barbed wires over here, but later on it looks like a white picket fence. Oh, like right now there's a trend going on where people are getting like um, paragraphs on their backs and shit, like that. Like Corinthians or Psalms. I don't like that on girls especially, because if I'm lucky enough to get a girl naked, the last thing I want to do is read, right? Like, I don't understand. What is this about? This is about your dad? What's going on here? I'm losing my boner. This is horrible. Why am I reading and learning? It's horrible. I saw a guy with a tattoo that read, whatever doesn't kill me makes me stronger. That's so stupid, right? Like, I mean, don't you have that shit memorized, right? You need to wake up every day, all right, still alive, still strong, nothing's killed me. What about a good reminder, like, eat less sodium. That'd be good, right? Like, eat some more. No top ramen, no top ramen today. That is so good. That's bad for me. I don't know. Who should get like fun tattoos? Like maybe like a like a Where's Waldo? I don't know. That'd be cool. Like a crosswood puzzle. Game of Sudoku. Uh, how about a fun fact like a Snapple? That'd be kind of cool. Huh? I'd take off a girl's shirt. Be like, what? A hummingbird weighs less than a penny? I didn't know that. I'm learning. I'm getting laid. This is great. I'm gonna go there again. I just want to end on this. Um, I hate uh, I hate stressful situations. I hate using a restroom at a Starbucks. That is stressful to me. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sitting there using a restroom at a Starbucks, because yeah. it's always one person, right? It's a girl and guy. You're sitting there. But by the way, when I sit on the toilet, my feet touch the ground. I'm not like I'm sitting there uh, doing Pilates or like. <laughs> but I'll be sitting there doing animal business. Someone walks up, right? They see it's red. It says occupy. It says do not enter. What do they do? They knock on the door. Right? Like, what am I supposed to do? And they're like, hey, who is it? Who won them? Go away. Because I get stressed. I start sounding like Mickey Mouse. Someone's in here. Someone's in here. Like, why did you knock on the door? Like, is it in the history? Has anyone ever knocked on the door and someone opened it? Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> you need something? What's going on? Yeah, I live here. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm sitting there, right? And then they knock on the door. What do they do next? They try to open the door. But it's never like a soft opening. It's like a horror movie. You see the door shake it. You see a knife come underneath the door. You start screaming, someone's in here! Don't come in! Please don't come in! Someone's in here! Occupy! Because you're in the most vulnerable position in life. This is it. Alright? Like if I was an assassin, I would kill people while they were on the toilet. My name would be Metamuso or something like that, alright? Like, I wipe the problem away, right? <laughs> and you can't do anything in this position, right? Everyone here has had somebody walk in on them. So gross, right? Yeah, ew. It's so embarrassing, especially when it's a stranger. And you make eye contact with them. Like, I don't even, like, I had to, this is what happened. I was, I was at a Starbucks. This is how the joke came about, but I was at a Starbucks. I was sitting there, and I heard it jiggling, right? And I heard a key. And I, and I screamed. Like, I was like, someone's in here! Please don't come in! For the love of God! I was like almost crying, and then they opened the door. And all I can do is pretend like I was a vampire being hit by the sun. <laughs> 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 and 
Hey, my name is Rob Barocha. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much.